In the summer of 1934, Cecil Maine and Fred Carr blasted a hole into the side of the San Pedro Mountains, looking for gold. Instead, they discovered a room about the size of a coat closet, with a small mummy sitting on a ledge inside. The mummy was 6.5 inches tall when seated and weighed about a pound. It was quickly dubbed Pedro and displayed in a drugstore in Matizzi and later in a car dealership in Casper. X-rays were taken of Pedro and he was claimed to be a pygmy that died at the age of 65. University of Wyoming anthropologist George Gill suggested that Pedro was actually an infant who had been born with anencephaly. In 1950, Pedro vanished. A man named John Adolfi offered a $10,000 reward for Pedro in 2005, but there has been no sign of him. There is some thought that Pedro could be a Nemeragar, a mythological cryptid from Shoshone legend. Nemeragar are said to be three feet tall, aggressive men who use tiny bows and poisoned arrows. Nemeragar, roughly translated, means people eaters. In 1939, in Douglas, Wyoming, two kids adhered antlers onto a dead jackrabbit. The creature was called a jackalope and displayed at the Labonte Hotel, where it was later stolen. Whether the creature exists is still hotly debated. Hunting permits can be purchased for open season, June 31st from midnight to 2 a.m. IQ is required to be below 72 to qualify for a permit. Douglas still celebrates the jackalope with an eight-foot statue and jackalope days held every June. Clearmont, Wyoming was founded in 1892. The town was mostly made up of cowboys and cattle ranchers, and at night there were enough shootouts to earn the nickname Bloody Clearmont. By 1922, there was a need for a jail, mainly for Prohibition-era bootleggers and public drunks. The last inmates were held in 1961, and it was shut down afterwards. There were no restrooms, and a small stove wasn't put in until two years after it began being used. The jail still stands today in Clearmont, next to the city playground. In 1876, Charlotte Shepard, a gangster from Louisiana, arrived in Lusk, Wyoming. She opened a home that was used for gambling, drinking, and planning stagecoach and train robberies. She became known for the red ruffled underpants she wore and went by the name Mother Featherlegs. In 1879, she was murdered by her business partner, Dangerous Dick Davis. Her memorial is the only U.S. monument ever to be given to a prostitute. In 1880, a train bound for Rollins, Wyoming, was stopped by a mob. Aboard was Big Nose George Parrott, an outlaw wanted for train robberies and murder. The mob attempted to lynch him, but he pled for his life and confessed, so the vigilantes cut him down and put him on trial. He was sentenced to hang. Months later, he attacked a jailer in an escape attempt and was forced back into his cell by the jailer's wife. A lynch mob yet again came after him, and it took them two botched attempts and a third try to hang Big Nose George. His body was later dissected, and shoes were made from his skin. His skull was used as an ashtray, and later as a doorstop. The shoes are still on display at the Carbon County Museum in Rollins, Wyoming. In 1886, the Bartlett family migrated from Ohio to South Pass City, Wyoming, and opened an inn there. When wealthy single men stopped at the inn, the Bartlett's daughter, Polly, would seduce them and feed them an arsenic-laced steak. She eventually murdered and disposed of 22 men this way. Her final victim was a young man named Barney Fountain. Unfortunately for Polly, Barney's father came looking for him. Eventually the Bartlett's were caught and a $13,000 reward was put up for the arrest of Polly and her father. They hit the road and supposedly headed for Oregon. A man named Ed Ford, who was ironically an intended victim at one point, tracked them down. Mr. Bartlett was shot and Polly was brought in for hanging. Before her trial could begin, a local mine foreman shot her through her cell window with both barrels of a shotgun. Authorities later removed 22 bodies from the corral surrounding the Bartlett Inn. In 